This is example 6.1. It reads, a skater is spinning at a rate of positive 700 degrees per second before decelerating at a constant rate of negative 400 degrees per second squared. What will the skater's angular velocity be after decelerating for 1.2 seconds? First, we need to remember that just because we're using degrees per second instead of meters per second, we're still thinking of the same concept of velocity equals velocity naught plus acceleration times time. So we know that Vf is equal to Vi plus acceleration times time. We're going to change this to angular velocity is equal to initial angular velocity plus acceleration times time. So using this equation, we're going to find the new angular velocity and plug in the other numbers. We have a positive 700 degrees per second, which is the initial spinning velocity, plus a deceleration, so it's negative 400 degrees per second squared for the given time of 1.2 seconds. Now. Once we compute this, we get a positive 200 degrees per second. That is the skater's angular velocity after decelerating for the 400 degrees per second squared for 1.2 seconds.